Hey YouTube, this is Robin, an investor. Hope you had a great week of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Zoom stock, ticker symbol ZM. Make sure you stick to the end of the video to hear my opinion. So past year up 166%, past five years up 473%. It IPO'd sometime in April 2019 last year. Market cap is $58 billion and P ratio is 1,233, which is very expensive. Dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. Taking a look at the analyst ratings, 33% give it a buy, 50% give it a hold, and 17% give it a sell rating. Now for earnings, you can see that it's trending upwards and consistently beating expected earnings per share. So the actual EPS was 20 cents versus expected of 9 cents. Now Zoom, for those who don't know, they engage in provision of video first communications platforms. So a lot of video conferencing and video chatting uh, solutions. Taking a look at the press release, you can see that Zoom reported the first quarter result for fiscal year 2021, and their total revenue was $328 million, up 169% year over year, which is extremely solid growth. Their number of customers contributed more than $100,000 in trailing 12-month revenue, up 90% year over year, and approximately 265 thousand customers with more than 10 employees up 354 percent year over year so solid growth in terms of their number of customers and the revenue growth year over year and the ceo says they're humbled by the accelerated adoption of the zoom platform around the globe in q1 so due to recent uh, circumstances everyone is trying to connect with each other but since they can't do in person then they use this platform. Scrolling down a bit, taking a look at the numbers, financial highlights. As I mentioned, $328 million in revenue, up 169% year over year. Income from operations and operating margin. So gap income from operations was $23.4 million compared to gap income from operations of $1.6 million in the first quarter of fiscal 2020. Um, scrolling down a bit, you can see that for the first quarter, GAAP operating margin was 7.1%, and non-GAAP operating margin was 16.6%. Hopefully, they can increase that operating margin as time goes on. Net income and income per share, you can see that's $27 million, or $0.09 cents per share, compared to GAAP net income attributed to the common stockholders of $0.2 uh, million, or $0.00 cents per share. Scrolling down a bit, their cash and cash equivalents equals to $1.1 billion as of April 30th, 2020, which is good to have some cash on the sidelines um, because if their revenue is not doing well this quarter, they need to maintain their business. But it's good to see that Zoom has about $1.1 billion in cash. Cash flow, net cash provided by operating activities was $259 million for first quarter compared to 22 million in the first quarter of fiscal year 2020. So great uh, cash flow increase. Customer metrics, you can see that it's growing and they continue to acquire new customers and expand across existing customers. About 265,000 with more than 10 employees up 354% year over year. 769 customers contributing more than 100,000 in trailing 12 months revenue, up 90% from year over year, and trailing 12 month net dollar expansion rate in customers with more than 10 employees, above 130% for the eighth consecutive quarter. So solid growth in terms of customer metrics and financial outlooks. So looking forward, second quarter fiscal year 2021, um, between 495 million and 500 million, um, and non-GAAP income from ops is expected to be between 130 to 135 million. Full fiscal year of 2021, the total revenue is expected to be 1.775 billion and 1.8 billion. 
So this takes into consideration that demand for remote work for businesses. Um, it also assumed increased churn in the second half of the first of the fiscal year when compared to historic churn levels. So overall, very solid growth in terms of customer metrics, their revenue, their financials, very solid growth. But taking a look at their stats, let's take a look at their numbers. So you can see that the trailing PE is very high. Ford PE is 145, which is still very expensive relative to the S&P 500. Scrolling down a bit, you can see that the 52 week change up 103%. Relative to S&P 500, 10.64%. And then 52-week high is $224 per share versus the low of $60 per share. And let's see, held by institutions, you can see that 49% versus held by insiders, 16%. As I mentioned, they don't have a dividend yield, so they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. Operating margin and Profit margin is really low. Hopefully they can increase this number. Uh, return on assets and equity is not available. Their quarterly revenue growth year over year, 84%. And you can see that the net income, trailing 12 months, 7.74 million. Quarter earnings growth year over year, not available. That's probably because not provided. All right, take a look at the balance sheet. Cash, 811.4 million. Cash per share, $2.94. Total debt, $55.86 million. Debt to equity, so for every dollar of equity they have, they have $7 in debt. And operating cash flow, $131.33 million. So overall, Zoom stock, I think it's very good in terms of their growth numbers, but in terms of profitability and the valuation, I think they're very overpriced. Um, their stock price is very high relative to what they're actually earning. So because of that, they're, I think they're overbought, overvalued, very expensive stock. I personally, I personally would not buy into this stock. And I think I would just continue watching it on my watch list, but I will not start a position anytime soon. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts on Zoom stock? Comment down below. Remember to use my referral links below and both of us get $20 for using personal capital or a free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.